the another important question in first sum MA economics, Indian economy, problems and the policies. That is in 2020, one of the important question is that, what are the inclusive policies of the government? What are the inclusive policies of the government? From the word you got some idea, inclusive. Inclusive means all are included. That is, which are the policies are taken by the government? It is enjoyed by every section without any class differences or creed or religion. Any, there is no, here there is a non-discriminatory treat to all sections of the society. That is the meaning of inclusive. That is, inclusive policies of the government. That is, which are the policies are taken by the government? It available to all without any dis that is without any differences or discrimination that is known as the word meaning of inclusive policy here for us that is in order to explain inclusive policies of the government it mainly included so many concepts here the first is that what is the meaning of inclusive growth and second is that what about the important need for inclusive economic growth? And third is that which are the important features or salient features of inclusive economic growth? And fourth is that which are the challenges or problems of the, that is the inclusive growth in our economy? And last section is that which are the important policies or measures taken by the government to solve that is, to solve the problems or challenges existed in inclusive growth. These are the main important components are included this answer that is in this question. That is what about the needs, the meaning, features, challenges or problems or policies and the measures. These are the main important components are included here. Firstly, what is meant by inclusive economic growth? Inclusive economic growth represent as this is the economic growth that is distributed fairly across society and creates opportunities for all. That is the word meaning of inclusive growth shows that it is that is the economic growth that is distributed fairly. Economic growth that distributed fairly or equally without any differences. It is distributed fairly across the society among the society and creates opportunities for all. It provided job opportunities to all or providing employment to all. So economic growth, it distributed fairly across the society plus at the same time opportunities to all. This is the important meaning of that is the inclusive growth or inclusive economic growth. Equal that is equal treat or here there is a economic growth it is distributed fairly that is equal distribution of economic growth at the same time in order to achieve economic growth here there is a need of increasing opportunities that is increase the employment opportunity so through the employment opportunities it increase our GDP or gross domestic product thus an economy achieve economic growth so that is known as inclusive growth that is here there is a inclusive growth means economic growth that is distributed fairly or equally and fairly across the society and it creates opportunities to all opportunities for all that is the main important definition of that is inclusive growth at the same time it may also means that economic growth that create employment opportunities and it helps in reducing poverty. If there is an increasing employment opportunities or increasing employment, it automatically reduces the problem of poverty. Thus, an economy moves the path of economic growth. That is known as inclusive growth or inclusive economic growth. In short, here there is a economic growth that is fairly distributed across the society and it creates opportunities for all, creates opportunities for all, that is the main important meaning of inclusive growth. That is the meaning here. Second, we explain what about the need for inclusive growth. Why we recommend 
inclusive growth. So, in our economy, because of, here there is a, in, here there is an illiteracy or lack of literacy at the same time here there is a problem of quantitative and qualitative employment opportunities and third is that lack of agriculture or low development of agriculture it creates the need for or in India here there is a need of inclusive growth that is why we recommend inclusive growth in India in India because of illiteracy at the same time, low agricultural growth. At the same time, and third is that because of the quantitative and qualitative problem existed in employment opportunities, we can identify in India here there is a need of inclusive policy. Then, what are the important need of inclusive growth in India? There are so many points here. The first is that to maintain growth with equity. Here there is a need of economic growth already shown that fairly distributed. Distributed it is fairly. That is known as economic growth with the equity. Equal distribution of economic growth that is among the society or across the society. That is the first need of inclusive growth. That is economic growth with the equity, equality. And second is that achieving sustainable development. If we, here there is a need of inclusive growth is that to achieve sustainable development. Here there is a permanent development in our economy. All are included in the, that is economic growth. That is all means all sections of society are included in economic growth. That is the main purpose for to achieve sustainable development. And third is that here there is a need of inclusive growth is that human development. Human development is possible when there is a, there is no differences among the society. All are treated equally. There is no color differences, caste differences, no rural and urban differences, poor and rich differences is not allowed. So, if there is a human development, it is another important necessity of inclusive growth. And next is that raise economic growth. Economic growth is increased only with the help of inclusive growth. Economic growth, it is achieved only by inclusive growth. And last is that equal distribution of income and wealth. Income distribution and wealth is equally distributed when there is a that is application of inclusive growth. These are the important necessities or need for economic growth. The first is that here there is a economic growth with equity. And second, sustainable development. And third is that human development. And fourth, raise economic growth. And last is that equal distribution of income and wealth. So, here there is, that is all sections of society. There is no differences in the, that is, religion based, caste based, color based, rural and urban, then rich and the poor. All are, that is, here there is no differences here. All are treated equal, that is equally, that is inclusive growth. That is all are included in the growth policy which are taken by the government. So that is known as, there is a need of inclusive growth. And let's see that, what are the important features of inclusive growth? That is, if we adopted inclusive growth, which are the important features here? The first is that, address the constraints of excluded and marginalized section. And thus, we can identify the constraints or the problems which are thus, which are existed in excluded group and marginalized. That is, which are the important problems here. It can identify with the help of inclusive. So, in the case of inclusive growth, it that is, address the constraints of excluded and marginalized section. And second is that participation from all sections of society. If we adopt inclusive growth, another important feature is that participation of all sections of society. All sections are included the participation of economic growth. That is second important feature. Participation from all sections of the society. And third is that reduction of disparities of income between sec different sectors, sections, Rural and urban and rural and urban areas and gender differences. Here there is a third important feature of that is the inclusive growth is the 
reduction of disparity avoiding disparity or inequality among different sectors like primary secondary and third sector and among sections rich and the poor gender that's men and women then here there is a rural and urban area it can solve that is a another important feature of inclusive growth that is reduction of disparity that is among the different sectors sections rural and urban area and last is that here there is a different genders also and next is that non discriminatory that is another important feature is that non discrimination that is all are treated equally or fairly fairly distributed to all there is no discrepancy or non discrimination that is another important feature of inclusive growth and next is that poverty reduction that is another important feature of that inclusive growth is that reducing poverty that is one of the important aim of inclusive growth is that equal are opportunities to for that is opportunities for all if you providing employment opportunities for all automatically it will reduce the poverty that is known as that is poverty reduction and last is that ensure access of people to basic infrastructure and basic services it ensure or providing assurance that is basic services and basic infrastructure to all that is infrastructure means transport communication banking and that insurance etc basic service of that health and education that it assurance provide assurance to people basic infrastructure and the basic services these are the main important features of that is inclusive group that is here there is a address the constraints of the in excluded and then marginalized then participation from all sections of society the reduction of disparities of per capita income between different sectors sections rural and urban area and different genders the next non discriminatory the next is the poverty reduction and last the ensure access of people to basic infrastructure and the basic services these are the main important that is the features of the inclusive so we can that can in, included here the important concept like what about the meaning here then what about the need of inclusive growth and next we pass what about the important features and next see that which are the problems are existed in inclusive growth or which are the challenges are faced in inclusive growth the challenges is that the first poverty and second is that lack of adequate employment opportunities and third lack of adequate education and the skill development and fourth lack of infrastructure social and physical facilities and next regional disparity and last is that issues in agriculture these are the problems existed in inclusive growth or these are the challenges faced in inclusive growth one is that poverty poverty is the main problem or challenge here in order to solve poverty because of inclusive growth all are that is included in economic growth that is by providing employment opportunities through employment opportunities it is solve the problem of poverty here and second is that lack of adequate employment opportunities another important necessity of that is inclusive growth is that because of unemployment problem here there is a to solve the unemployment and underemployment here there is a need of inclusive growth that is the another important challenges faced in inclusive growth and third is that lack of adequate education and skill development that is because of lack of there is argue that with illiteracy that is lack of education and skill development that is another important problem existed in inclusive growth so here there is a need of the policies or measures in inclusive growth lack of education and skill development and next is that lack of infrastructure social and physical facilities lack of that is infrastructure lack of transport communication etc then social services like education and health then physical services it lead to the here there is a need of that is there is so, so many problems are existed in inclusive growth so here there is a need of policies or measures taken by the government to solve this problem and let's see that regional disparity another important challenges 
faced in inclusive growth is that regional or you know, there is an unequal distribution of income and wealth in different regions. So, regional inequality or regional disparity is the another important problem existed in the case of inclusive growth. And next is that here there is a issues in agriculture. There are so many problems are existed in agriculture like lack of land, then lack of utilization of land, then lab, lack of labor productivity. There are so many problems are existed in inclusive growth. So to solve these problems, here there is a need of so many policies or measures to overcome the problem. So the problems or challenges here, one is the lack of adequate employment opportunities, then poverty, lack of adequate, here there is an education and skill, lack of infrastructure, social and physical services, then regional disparity and last is the issues of agriculture. These are the basic important then features existed here in the inclusive growth. One is that firstly we explain what about the meaning of inclusive growth and second is that what about the need for inclusive growth and third is that what are the important features and last is that what about the important challenges. So the question is that what are the inclusive policies of the government? That is we conclude here there are so many problems or challenges are existed in inclusive growth. To solve the inclusive growth, here there is so many measures or solutions or policies are necessary. To the problems like this, lack of, here there is a poverty, lack of education, skill development, region disparity, agriculture problems, etc. These problems are existed in inclusive growth. These challenges or problems overcome with the help of so many measures or policies. So that is the question here. Which are the important inclusive policies of government?